Hello and welcome to our video cast on the new Somatic S7 1200 Compact Controller. My name is Paul Rulin from Siemens Industry in the USA, and this is part three of a multi-part series on the S7 1200 Compact Controller. In this particular session, we're going to focus on adding an HMI to existing controller project that we worked on in the previous parts using our Step 7 basic software for the S7 1200 controller that includes logic control as well as HMI programming capability. So to get started, our programming task for today is to develop an HMI screen to show visualization and control for the logic that we put in previously that was a start-stop sealant circuit for controlling this pilot light and a wiper control library um, that we had a switch on it too that we're going to bring to visualization. So to go into uh, the navigation portal of our uh, S7-1200 Step 7 basic software, we're going to open our existing software program, Project 1, and begin the HMI development. And we're going to go right to configuring your device, and the device can be you know, a PLC or an HMI, and in the future uh, several other types of devices. So in this case we're going to add a 6-inch HMI to our existing logic program that we've previously developed. So then it's assembling all the screens to start the device wizard to walk us through the um, setup of the screen. And uh, this is where the, you can build a template, save its changes. Um, in this case, we're just going to walk through the wizard here. It's where you can choose if you want a header or any kind of layout, um, bring on a company logo, or set up any other type of uh, preferences, which is real powerful in building a standard template. Um, all your alarm setup is included inside of the template as well. And uh, powerful and efficient capability is the screen navigation that can be done you know, just by point and click and adding screens. So that saves a lot of development time of uh, go to screen scripts underneath buttons for navigation that's common in other uh, HMI projects. So we can finish it up here and then it's going to bring it into the same project that uh, we developed our previous uh, logic control and bring it into the work area that we've been using for all our other PLC logic. We can zoom in or uh, fit it to uh, height and width so we can see everything and start bringing some uh, graphical objects on the screen. So we can go in and as we mentioned we're going to put some uh, indicators on here for start stop sealing circuits. We're going to go to the lights choose a red light to match our hardwired light, put that on the screen where we want, um, and as I mentioned, since it's a unified program environment for our tag definition, we can go uh, right to the PLC tags, because we know we have an uh, output coil for a light, and just simply drag right into our tag field for our HMI, and then it does all the reconciliation, all the connections for you automatically. Uh, similarly, we we're going to put a switch for controlling our wiper that we previously developed. So we're going to bring on a toggle switch here. And again, we can lay it down. We can choose its uh, properties and define uh, what elements want. In this particular case, we're going to make a change to our PLC program at the same time. So we're still in the same development environment. Go to the program block that we configured that wiper, and we're going to take it from a hardwired uh, switch to this uh, HMI switch. So we're going to go down to the wiper control block and change out um, its start element to be an HMI. We'll just give it a name of our preference. Uh, wiper start. Okay, and uh, let it auto define. Get that set up. And then similarly, we can go back to our screen, which is uh, still available, all in the same environment go to its uh, tag field and we can bring in the PLC tags and we can use that by using the three dots instead of uh, drag and dropping. We have preferences for navigation for many different methods and there's our HMI start, accept it, and we, now we have it uh, linked with inside of the programming environment. So there was no typing, there was no import exporting, there was no opening a separate HMI package. This is all unified in one programming environment, one user program, one database. So now we made changes um, by adding a device to our project, the HMI device, and then we also updated our PLC logic. So to download those, and we can do these simultaneously because in Step 7 Basic for the S7-1200, it not only includes uh, logic control and HMI control, but networking too. So we can highlight our two devices in our graphical connection in this network view decide to download changes that we made to both of them uh, simultaneously and does automatic 
compilation, any kind of other rationalization detects that the PLC is in uh, stop mode. Ask you, do you want to uh, put it into start mode? Excuse me, put it into stop mode and uh, complete the download and the compile and all the configuration. Since this connection is on Ethernet uh, via the uh, programming uh, PG or laptop and you know, through the network that it is on, you can download all these simultaneously without having to do any other communication configuration or move cables around or anything that's quite time consuming in updating a system that has both HMI and controller. So we just follow through on the dialogues here. It leads us through the completion of the download of both devices, HMI and controller. And then when it's finished, we're able to go online, restart everything, see everything operational. We can, you know, then go and uh, troubleshoot our blocks. We can, you know, do anything of that uh, nature or required. Uh, we can go into our HMI. Um, it has a runtime capability, so it has simulation, so you don't have to run the HMI from a piece of HMI hardware. We can do it right from here. So we can start our wiper, see that it works, um, test the visualization on our start-stop sealant circuit. The light comes on, it turns off. Stop the wiper control. So, with that, benefits of adding HMI to an existing controller project with our Step 7 Basic and the S7 1200. It's integrated HMI screens with the controller project. You know, no kind of time consuming HMI only development in a separate application. Drag and drop controller tags to the HMI screens, one database, save time, cost for duplicate HMI tag generation, import, exporting reconciling uh, the logic both in an HMI and a controller. A very user-friendly interface has the same navigation and layout, um, point-click tools that are available for logic control and HMI development. Uh, System-wide, it's one programming software, Step 7 Basic for the S7-1200, so it gives you one user program for logic, HMI, and networking. Greatly reduces engineering costs, time, easy to maintain. With all Siemens uh, products, it's global product line, the S7-1200 included, worldwide approved, acceptable across the industry, designed on S7 core technologies, so it's future-proof, easy to migrate, sustainable, standardized, and benefit. Thank you for viewing this webcast, and hope you will view future webcasts in this series.